When I first started working as a full-time engineer, I had no idea how I was supposed to go about tracking work goals. I feel like it was always in some sloppy like software that the company was using to track like OKRs or KSIs, and I didn't quite know how to organize and track them until I found a software called Notion. Now Notion makes it super easy to track goals because of its Kanban style. And you can also use different views like a calendar view, a Kanban style view, a list view. It just was like the perfect software for me to use. And it's one of the reasons why I got promoted in under six months in my first engineering job. So in this video, we're gonna talk firstly about how to track your goals in Notion and how to use the software. Second, we're gonna go over quantifying your goals. So I hate when people use like, get better at this. It's like, no, you wanna be like, take this specific class and under this specific time. So we'll talk about quantifying goals. And lastly, we'll talk about self-advocating for yourself in performance reviews, which is arguably the most important part about getting a promotion itself. If you're new here, I'm Liz. I'm a data science manager at Intel. And on this channel, we talk about coding, data science, goal setting, really navigating yourself in your 20s. So if you're into that, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump into it. So essentially we need to build two separate databases within Notion. The first one is your daily work tracker. So that's like really small tasks that build up to a big goal. So the second database would be your big goals, which a lot of companies will call KSIs, OKRs, key results. So you'll see what I'm using here in a second. So here is my daily work projects. Now this is kind of off the idea of a second brain by Tiago Forte, where everything should be either like a project based, an archive, an area or a resource. So this is projects. I like to break down my goals into tiny little steps. So you'll see on my completed, I have like clean up range template, add items to DevOps board, update flow, overtime tool fix, just like super small um, little tasks you can complete. So I like to break them down. So but the cool thing about it is like, if I click on this one and I know what this means, but you probably don't know what cleanup range template means, but I have a status. So if you look at the properties I added and you can add a property here, but if you go, you can see I have either hold in progress, complete or graveyard. Um, and then I have a date and then I have another multi-select, which is an OKR, which is objective key result. Is it an OKR? Is it part of my OKRs? And then I have a relation to another database. So I'll show you how to set that up here, but this is what it looks like for my daily work projects. Graveyard is stuff I'm not getting to within the next like couple months. Hold is like, I'm not working on it this day. Um, so when I go to work, I'll move this over to in progress. Anyway, that's the setup here. And then I have another database called key results. So this is where I store my actual goals, like big overarching goals, like take a Python course, restructure files, do a power automate flow, um, create this tool, big projects that are like quarterly. So how you make these is you can press a plus button on a page and then you press basically any database you want. So if I, I could just do goals um, and you can, I usually start with a board and then press new database and then you'll have it kind of set up like this. And then you can change the name of whatever the cards are for. Um, but once you have this, this is going to be your main goals. And then you create a daily work projects as well. I just wanted to cover what it looks like to actually make a database. If you have like nothing to begin with. So I'm going to delete this because you won't need it. How I went about this is when I, after I made my daily work projects, which is exactly how I just did that, you'll open up one of the cards and you can add, let's just open this one. You can add properties. So how I added these properties is you'll see this is a multi-select. This is a date, multi-select in a relation. So if you go to type, multi-select, date, and then at the bottom is a relation. So you can relate this back to anything. So I related it to key results. So when you make the two separate databases, make sure that in your daily work projects, you do a relation back to your key results and then click this and it will, you can now populate it. So let me delete this really quick. But now I can click back and forth between the two. So if we go here, if I made a new task, let's just call this task one. Let's say you set up all your properties. Now you can click and click any of the goals that you set up, which I find it super helpful because you can always go back. I'll just keep that there. If you go back to the key results, 
and you go back to, let's tag it with something. Uh, where was I? Dealer projects. Let's tag it to risk. Go back to the key results and I open up my risk. You can see four backlinks. Those are all the tasks that add up to this total, this total task thing. So you could have like hundreds essentially, which is fine. You want some backlinks, but what's great is you can also, like this is take a Python course. I linked this to my Python course, which I have a separate database for my courses, which is optional. If you want to track more, more things, um, then you could do that as well. So I'm going to go back here and now it's super easy. So when I have a task and just write it, I can say, yes, this is an OKR and then tag it to that goal. It just keeps everything nice and organized. So you have like a little system set up for when you go and do your performance review, you can pull up, oh, see how I finished all these. Um, you can also see this in a table view, which you just press here and you can add a board, a calendar, a list, a gallery timeline if you want. I have not messed too much with that. Um, so I'm gonna delete this, but you can add multiple different views. So I like to have on my um, OKRs or goals, I like to have the year and then the quarter because mine are quarterly goals. So that will keep it nice because then you can filter. So you can filter and be like, what did I get done in quarter two? What did I get done in quarter three? And stuff like that. So now you might be wondering what types of goals should I be going after? This is arguably the hardest part about goal setting. And I like to think about it like you have your main goal and you have a stretch goal. Your main goal, you want to be quantifiable. So you want to say, I want to read five productivity books. I want to finish three proposals. I want to take one Python class. I want to build one project with Python. Stuff like that, very quantifiable. So I tend to go for um, a little bit of classes. So anything that is like extra going above and beyond, taking a C sharp class, taking a Python class. And even if you're not in computer science, there's other classes you can take like Power BI, you could take an Excel class. Excel is like classic, everyone uses Excel. Like take an advanced Excel class. Those are like easy points, right? Then you have work-related stuff again, like proposals, memos, whatever your day-to-day -day work is, put a number to it. You can always change it later. And then finally, with the stretch goals, I like to say, what is a stretch goal to something? So my main goal might be take a Python class. My stretch goal would be to use it somewhere in my work, use it with a project or apply it to a project. So you always wanna have a stretch goal because that defines black and white what you did to go above and beyond. So you had a goal, now you can prove you went above and beyond, which I always prefer. So always think about it in quantifiable measures, like you either hit it or you didn't. Now, a lot of people sell themselves short on performance reviews. Performance reviews are some of my favorite reviews, mainly because it is your one time to brag, especially when you start tracking things in Notion the way we did. So if I go back to my key results board here, when you're done, like let's say these are all done, you move them all over and you'll have notes like the, the, here's my Python course. I will just put a ton of notes in here. So when I go to do my performance review, I say, hey, can I share my screen? And I show, here's my Python course I finished. Um, it was 33 hours. I paid $20 of my own money on Udemy, which you could have them pay for it. You scroll down and you say, I learned about lists. I learned about ranges, data type attributes. And no manager is gonna look at this and be like, wow, she didn't put a lot of work in. Like, come on, like this is insane. Nobody does this. So you'll have these key results. And if I had like a book one as well, I would showcase, here's the courses I took. And then I would also showcase, here's the books I read, like above and beyond. You just wanna like brag and it's okay to brag because it's one-on-one -on -one with your manager. This is your time to tell them all the things you've been working on and, pro and having progress towards. Another thing I like to do in performance reviews is I like to track my praise. So I like to track my praise for long periods of time. And there's nothing fancy about it. There's no database here. I just like to be like, oh, I got an email from the vice president of J. Dunn and they told me good things. And you just wanna showcase that to your manager and be like, hey, look, this is what this person said about me. Here's another email about me. Here's another email. I'm on this board, you know, like, just like all the praise that you get throughout the year because they, they'll forget if they're tagged in an email, they'll just forget that that email even existed. So you almost want to showcase it to them again and be like, hey, here's some praise. Here's my projects. 
here's my completed goals, here's the books I read. And you just kind of keep doing that. And that's why this, this software is so good because you can put all that within here and show I hit every goal. Like they can't look at this and say, nope, she didn't do it, you know? So that's why I love this software for getting a promotion and it helped me get my first promotion. So I wanted to share it with you guys. If you're interested in a deeper dive into the rest of my Notion templates and all the things that I'm using to track my projects, YouTube and all that, I will link my Notion for Engineers video here, which I thought was really good in order to showcase exactly how insane I am about tracking things. There's a couple more examples that weren't in this video that I think you guys might like. So I will see you guys next time.